In this lesson, you will learn how to find the absolute value of a number by using a number line. Let's review. Positive numbers are to the right of zero on the number line. We know that five is five units in the positive direction on the number line. Negative numbers are to the left of zero on the number line. We know that negative five is five units from zero in the negative direction. Now, let's review opposites. We have the number three. The opposite of three is negative three. They're both three units from zero on the number line. Another example of an opposite would be four. The opposite of four is negative four. They're the same distance from zero on either side on the number line. Now, a common mistake that I've seen people make is only thinking about positive numbers when finding how many numbers are a certain number of units from zero. You're going to see in this lesson it's really important that we not only think about positive numbers, but we, we remember those negative numbers too. All right, let's first look at the definition of absolute value. Now, absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on the number line. So it's talking about distance. Let's try an example of absolute value. I'm going to place three on the number line. Three is three units from zero in the positive direction. The absolute value of three or distance from zero is three units. Now I'm going to place negative three on the number line. Negative three is three units from zero in the negative direction. The, when we write absolute value of numbers like this, we use these bars. These bars tell us that we're looking for the distance from zero. Let's go ahead and try another example. I'm going to place four on the number line. Four is a positive number, so it's to the right of zero, four units. The absolute value of four, or its distance from zero, is four. Let's try negative four. Negative four is to the left of zero, four units. The absolute value of negative four is still four units from zero on the number line. Again, I want you to notice those bars that I put around the negative four. This tells me that I'm looking for the absolute value or the distance from zero that negative four is on the number line. Now, at the beginning of the lesson, I asked, how many numbers are nine units from zero? Many people would say only the one number because they only think about the positive number. Remember, that was a common mistake. Now that we understand absolute value as the distance a number is from zero, we can prove there are actually two numbers that are nine units away from zero. There is nine, which is a positive, and negative nine, which is a negative. But because distance is always positive, the absolute value of nine and negative nine will still be nine units. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the absolute value of a number by using a number line. 